Today, we have a special guest on the show from Animoca Brands, Mochaverse. All right. We have, today, we have Alan from Animoca Brands, Mochaverse. Alan, welcome to the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me tonight. Hey, man, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about Mochaverse and specifically give it, uh, the new viewers a little bit of an overview of Animoca Brands? Now, I know Animoca is obviously huge and super big. And if you haven't heard of Animoca Brands, uh, then I don't know where you've been living. But for maybe new viewers that maybe uh, mm. for some reason haven't heard of Animoca uh, and what you guys have done and what you're doing, and uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I'll share a little bit about um, uh, Animoca Brands. So you can think of us as the Metaverse and Web3 Builder. Um, what we do is we operate about a dozen blockchain games. Uh, we also actively invest in a couple of areas, including music, entertainment, sports, and most recently, education. Um, so what we try to do is uh, really try to promote digital property rights via NFT. And therefore, we're investing in helping builders and founders to, to bring that on RAM, to, bro- to bring people from Web 2 to Web 3. Um, you know, just some of the examples of companies that we operate and invest in. So many of you may have heard of Sandbox, which is the metaverse platform. We are very early investors also in OpenSea, in Axie Infinity, in Ledger, in Yuga Labs, which own Board Apes. So um, I, I think we, we're quite lucky. You know, we, we got really into the whole uh, Web 3 rabbit hole um, uh, around 2019 and you know we've been investing and in building the ecosystems amazing yeah that's a, i mean huge ecosystem with a ton and i've covered it here on the channel quite a bit um but alan tell us a little bit about what you do what you're uh, doing currently right now uh with mochaverse yeah so you know mochaverse is um uh, nft uh, is a mem- membership NFT project that we're launching. It really is a way for us to say thank you to all the OG supporters to Animoca and our growth journey so far. So, you know, that means investors that's been with us uh, through the way, um, our employees, um, partners that we work with, and also holders of Animoca launch uh, NFT and tokens. So, you know, these are the groups of people that's been supporting us throughout. And, you know, we want to use a membership NFT to bring them together to say thank you, but also to tell people that we want to be close as a family and a community. And we're going to be doing more together. Right. But I I think what's really interesting, it really started like this. But since we've announced a couple of weeks ago, we've gotten so many requests for collaboration because they said we've always wanted to work with Animoca. And now through this NFT uh, uh, collection, we think there's a way for us to build you utility into it. So, you know, I think our thinking of what Mochaverse is has evolved a little bit as well. It started really as a membership NFT. And now I think it's going to be one of the flagship uh, NFT collection from Animoca, where we're going to bring in a lot of utilities from our own ecosystem, but also um, outside as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm pretty keen on that too. And I've been a part of a lot of different communities. And a matter of fact, I seen a tweet just today, I think it was, or yesterday, uh, how the Discord itself and Mochaverse exploded to like 20,000 users. That is insane. So Animoca and Mochaverse, that's, in my opinion, is going to be one of the biggest NFT projects out there. Um, you know, speaking of that, like we see the community. I, I've seen a lot of, um, you know, fun uh, community activities and people creating artworks. Uh, why is that? Is that is that because they're trying to get on the allow list? And how would one go about getting on that? I know I've I've read the website and got a little bit into detail about that. But could you go into detail mm-hmm. a little bit on that? Yeah. We're very excited about um, and, and pleasantly surprised about the positive response from the community. I think it started with Twitter. Uh, and, you know, we, we just opened our Discord channel yesterday and, you know, went to 20K within the first day. Um, I, I think what, what we've seen is, you know, I, I hope people also see the thought that we put into the collect, right? Um, because all, all the way from the art design, the lore, and the utility that we built in, I think people are seeing that this is not a project where there's one team building utility. We have close to 400 companies in our portfolio and all of them are putting their resources into building. But again, you know, as I said, that's just that's just a starting point. We're getting a lot of proposals. In fact, we're looking at 83 different discussions right now of companies that want to build utility into this. So I think this is quite special in the sense that we're really bringing a lot of different Web3 founders and creativity together. And I think that's why people are excited. On your point on allow list, um, you know, as I said, it's, you know, we, we, we're granting this to our OG supporter, but we don't want to be excluding people that recently learned about us, right? So, you know, uh, that, that's why uh, we announced, I think, two weeks ago, 
that if you're holders of uh, Animoca's NFT and token, then you could be eligible. You're going to get a RAM ticket. And um, that, that means you could be eligible for one of the Mochaverse NFT. So, you know, I think, and, and, you know, people would ask, so what is the price? You know, um, some of our, uh, some of our tokens in, in terms of what we need to qualify or NFT, you know, they're 10 bucks, 15 bucks, right? So, you know, I think it's a pretty good, you know, affordable way for, for you to say, hey, I want to be part of the Animoca family as well. Uh, we're doing snap, we, we've just done the snapshot, which means that, you know, I think now we, we've got a group of people that are interested, but it, it's not the end. I mean, if you're still interested, if you're just learning about this, if you missed the snapshot, I think what people, we would advise people to follow our Twitter, go to Discord and, you know, engage with us. I mean, give us ideas on what we should do. And, you know, we'll, you know, we'll be giving out um, additional allow list there. Amazing. I mean, I, I, what excites me the most is how, you know, you, you've been a part of a lot of different ecosystems and things like that. And what excites me is the NFT project itself and how that brings in the community to really, you know, collaborate. And uh, speaking of which, are, uh, about the NFTs, are they a generative type of NFT or how does that um, going to work in terms of how they're, you know, minted and distributed? What does that look like? Is it a regular generative project or mm. um, tell us the kind of dynamics around what that looks like? Yeah. Um, so this is a, a generative NFT series. But what we've done is we've decided that we want to depict a little bit of the Web3 personalities. So we have five tribes, right? So we have builders, dreamers, angel, connector, and new capitalists. So you can kind of imagine and connect that to sort of the real world, right? Angel investors, you have builders, you have visionary founders, right? So, you know, we thought it would be fun to create a little bit of different persona that people can identify, right? Um, so it's generative art, but, you know, we, we have a little mini game planted into the mint process. So, you know, on the day of the mint, you're going to come in, and go through a little bit of a maze, answer some question, and then we'll tell you what tribe you belong in. And then, of course, you'll find it on the review day. So, you know, I think just like a blockchain game, we want to keep it fun. We gamified it a little bit. And I hope that a lot of people will get to experience it on the mint day. Love it. Yeah, I, I love there's like a builders, you know, um, there, there's the what you mentioned there. And and I'm excited about that. And I know there's like five or four realms, too. Is that going to mm. be a part of the NFT itself? Yeah. Or is that something uh, where it's going to be a part more of the ecosystem yeah. inside of the project? Yeah. So uh, uh, the Mochas, you know, with the five tribes, are basically your, your identity within Mochaverse. And then we've created four realms because, you know, I think we want to, you know, as, as I said, this is really about... Um, bringing the group together to do more. And we want to do four things together. Uh, one is playing together, learning together, building together and doing good together, right? Um, so I'll describe the, what, what those one by one. I, I think uh, on the learning side, I think that there's a lot of education that we need to do to bring more people on board. So, you know, we'll be hosting AMA with, you know, not just ourselves, but also the 400 pod co-founders. Uh, they'll be doing masterclasses uh, for people. So, you know, I think that's super exciting. We'll also be doing early drops of uh, research from Animoca Research, which is an in-house unit that we have. So, you know, some alphas there for, for the group. That's learning Love together. It. We're going to do playing together because, you know, we, we are owners of a lot of blockchain games. So you get alpha passes, you get in-game in uh, um, asset drops from us. So, you know, I think that will give you sort of green link access to a lot of the games that, that, that we operate. Um, on doing good together, we, we going to engage the community to, to vote and decide how do we put a part of our treasury to good causes and you know we've already got something uh, announced yesterday we're going to work with uh, on chain monkey uh, by meta goods into uh, an amazing project many of you may have heard of friendship bracelet so uh, mm -hmm. alexis yeah. is going to collaborate with on chain monkey it's going to be around sustainability that's all i'm going to say and you know people in mochaverse will have access to that right so that's doing good together and, and then finally it's building together and, and i think this is pretty unique because we, we're going to again use part of what we've created a, as a treasury to direct that to fund the next generation of founders you can decide together with us what are projects that that deserve capital and attention and support in addition to that we try to decentralize governance a little bit right so this is what animal is going to start but we hope other people will join us right so we're going to take part of the governance right of a coin which we hold and decentralize it to mochaverse holder so now you know, when you hold a Mochaverse NFT, you will have the voting rights, part of the voting rights of a coin. So essentially, you're, you're running that together with 
that broader community, right? So that's building together. So I think, as far as I know, I don't think there's any, any NFT projects that have done it that way. And, you know, I think it's pretty innovative and it goes back to what Mochaverse could be, right? And I think that's what mm -hmm. get me most excited about, which is, you know, it really is a platform for innovation and experimentation. Man, I, I, I love that. Like that, there's so much to unpack just what we, what you just said. I mean, the utility wise, where it's like, you have the sustainability, you're working with other partners, your 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 platforms and ecosystems that you're already in the utility i mean we're talking like you said alphas and things like that the research part of it for me i think it's huge because it empowers people to actually learn and get well researched mm -hmm. and uh, you know if you can have access to that into you know animoca brands and what you guys are putting together i think that's massive that's huge because mm -hmm. you guys have a lot of um you know a, obviously a huge team that's amazing the best talent in the world so um, that that part excites me. Like people are like, "Oh, the utility," but I'm like, "Wow, that that alone in itself is huge." Mm. So uh, mm. very excited about that. And uh, yes, yeah, speaking of which, is, is it going to be kind of somewhat like a DAO, like operate sort of like a DAO, or how does that like, um, you know, I, I guess how, could you answer that and yeah. how that uh, op will operate? And you, what you guys yeah. are doing, I haven't really heard of it either of an entire yeah. ecosystem operating like this i think the only yeah. closest thing i've ever seen out there is kind of like a neo tokyo but um mm. to 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 your point like you there you have way more you have a big reach and it's way it's a little bit different so could you mm. kind of explain that dynamic will it work kind of like a dao or will you know uh yeah i'll let you go ahead and speak yeah i i think that there are um elements of the DAO mechanism already on day one. Like, you know, the voting that I mentioned, you know, it's decentralized and everyone will, will be able to vote. They're going to decide on what to do together with us on the project. And in fact, we've even set aside a small allocation of NFTs that we're going to put into a DAO reserve. So holders of Mochaverse NFT will decide who the next member are going, who do they want to bring into the community, right? So of course, so quite interesting is the treasury is not held by us as the project initiator is actually helped by the community. So, you know, I think over time, I, I think we, we've got a lot of mechanism of DAO built into um, the NFT collection. And, you know, I, I think I think the natural evolution of that is, you know, maybe there'll be further NFT draw and maybe there'll be, you know, some something that anchor governance, for example, like a token. So, you know, all these are things that we're already thinking about in terms of roadmap. Yeah, I love that. Again, empowering the community. I think that's huge. It's uh, the ethos of Web3. And I love how you guys are capturing that uh, so well. Um, so we talked a little bit about the, the whitelist or the allow list and how you can obtain one. Could you kind of elaborate th on that? I don't know if you mentioned that earlier, but how can one kind of get into the allow list? Uh, I, I've possibly community yeah. uh, art and things like that. Yeah. I, I've seen you guys do some stuff. Uh, yeah, could yeah. you kind of speak to that just a little bit? Yeah, so um, I, I think since launch, we've we've announced that there are 10 token projects and 20 NFT projects that will be eligible. We just finished the snapshot. So, you know, we kind of know, uh, we kind of have an initial eligible pool, but you know, if you just find out about us, what you should do is, you know, go to our Twitter, go to our Discord, you know, engage with us and tell us, you know, how we can make Mochaverse better, what we should build, right? So, you know, I think we reward people who, you know, it, it's contributing to the community. That's part one. Part two is, you know, through our announcement channel, we'll be partnering with different projects. You know, remember I mentioned that there's more than 80 projects that's coming to us to collaborate. And through that, we will give out some allow lists, right? So, you know, I think there's still chance to to come in so you know pay attention to um what what we say in in our channel awesome awesome and uh yeah you definitely want to go check it out i mean like the the community is growing pretty quickly pretty rapidly mm -hmm. more and more people are starting to find out about it so if you want a chance on that get in the discord get in there uh get in the action and try to get on that allow list but um yeah it, a lot of people will be asking like what chain will this be minted on is there a certain mm. chain you guys went with or you guys are thinking about uh what's that going to look like yeah so um there's actually two nfts um so there's the mochaverse nft which will be on ethereum but remember that you know i said this you know we, we're going to bring in people that are holders of uh, any mocha issued tokens and uh, fungible tokens and nfts Every, you know of all of those everyone who come and register with us will get a ram ticket the round ticket is on Polygon, right? So, you know, some part of the round ticket basically is a raffle system. Some of them will get 
um, onto the allow list to mint. But you know, even if you don't, hold on to your RAM tickets, which is on Polygon, because we're going to do something with you as well. Awesome, awesome. So um, yeah, that that pretty much uh, about sums it up. Is there anything final words you want to uh, tell folks here on the channel and, and where to kind of go um, in terms of their like if they're just getting started in Mochaverse, what they should expect, where they should go. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think we, we really started Mochaverse as a, a membership project and we had a very clear initial community in mind. But, you know, as I said, once we've announced, there's been so many interests in building together with us. So, you know, I think this is going to be a flagship collection where, you know, we try to bring in the best of Web3 founders and creativity. So, you know, I think if you're a builder, you know, please come to us and propose what you want to do with us. You know, if you're a collector, I think this is a very unique collection where on day one, it's not one company, it's not even 400 companies. It's basically a lot of people that are attracted by, you know, the track record of any mocha that's coming. And, you know, I, I think a lot of interesting things will happen in the collection and the community. So we, we hope to see you there. Absolutely. And I, I'm bullish again on the communities. I, I say this, um, you know, just to reiterate it, it's just what we've seen in the past couple of years that the right community can do massive things. And when you're talking about obviously Animoca brands, what you guys have already done, put in place, and you guys are kind of setting quote unquote the metaverse standards. And I I, I love I love that because I believe there should be standards, and I believe in uh, builders and community people as well, and what they can actually accomplish here in the space. There's a lot of people with high skills, high talent, and if you can unlock that then I think that's huge. And I think you can do uh, great things here in the space. So super excited about it. And uh, have you guys decided the mint date yet? Uh, I, I haven't seen anything just yet on that. Um, I know you guys. Yeah, are we pushing. haven't announced a specific date, but it should be early Feb. So stay tuned. Awesome. Awesome. Well, love to see it. And uh, yeah, like I told everybody in the audience, make sure you get involved. Go to their Twitter. Go to Merc. I believe it's mochaverse.xyz to find mm -hmm. out more information there. And go to Animoca Brands. You can see how all the different brands and ecosystems that they are invested in, the tokens, how you can get um, on the or out, allow list. I believe the snapshot was already done, but you can have some chances to get involved in, uh, by going to the website, Discord, and checking it out. So, Alan, man, I appreciate you for coming on the show. It was a pleasure having you on. Mm. We'll have to have you back on when everything's minted out and mm. there's a lot going on. I'd love to have you back on the channel again, and it's Good. been a pleasure. We'd love to. Thank All you. right, and you're on Twitter, Alan Lau, is it? Uh, 999? Yeah. On yeah, that's right. So it's Alan Lau's A L A N L A U nine nine nine. So you know, on Twitter, on yeah, Twitter. yeah. Give him a follow. Let's get him up there too. So uh, with that being said, be like an NFT, be authentic, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.